Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another traditional, um, um, no, uh, we're doing another digital, digital piece. <laughs> Man, I've been doing too many traditional stuff lately. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we're doing another, another digital piece, and it was meant to just relax and unwind myself after a really busy week of work, and... Even though I say it was a relaxing and short and quick thing, I still ended up with something like, let's see, that's two, three, three hours and 30 minutes worth of footage. So it was relaxing in the sense that I didn't really particularly think about or plan out what I was going to draw. I just went with the pose that I wanted to draw and the character I wanted to draw and ta-da, I ended up with this. So. Yeah, it was nothing really special in particular. It was just to unwind and relax a little bit. Also to get my di digital art chops chopping. <laughs> uh, please excuse my voice if it's like either raspy or soft or a little gruffer than usual. I am still recovering from a cough that is going around pretty much everywhere. So it's a little bit unavoidable to catch it. So it's a cough and... You know, my voice like still um, not fully recovered, so I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to draw this character just sort of interacting with the camera, but not really interacting, like he's looking at the camera. So it looks like he's he's looking at the viewer, and you know it's, there's there's some form of connection between you and him. And I also wanted to just draw, just let my hand freely do what it wants. And I'm pretty sure a couple of my viewers, especially if those who, those of you who draw, have experienced those moments where you just don't want to plan out anything, just let it. Let it go. No, let it let it be. I do really like how his hair turned out though. I was really going for that slightly windswept effect. So his hair is being lightly swished around by the wind. And I did something I haven't done in a while. And that's like add line weight to my line art. Uh, since I've been focusing more on letting the colors and the shadows and the coloring part take charge of... Um, accentuating the shadows and the highlights, I've been neglecting things like line weight in my art. Um, what I do want to practice, or maybe in my next live stream, or when I'm actually drawing a person or something, I want to practice using thinner line weights. So I, as you can see, these are pretty thick line weights, and that's on an A4 300 dpi canvas. I want to go with thinner line arts and, you know, um, play with line weight so that it doesn't look too thick or overwhelming on the piece. So I do want to go thinner. Other than that, I do kind of like how um, the colors, the way I colored this was a bit more, uh, I don't know, I was pretty proud of it to some extent, especially around like the pants and the chest part like the shadows there were like really good so i guess i'm starting to get the hang of doing more natural looking shadows uh, one challenge i encountered when doing this piece was the background so i did the character and i had like oh oh no i didn't since i didn't think this through i didn't really know what to do with the background so for a good couple of minutes i was just staring there and thinking what should i do <coughs> So, I ended up with doing like a picnic-y, grassy, park-ish vibe. And I haven't really drawn grass in a long, 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 long time. So I was sort of trying to feel my way around and trying to see what techniques I used to employ to make things look like grass. So it's not very good, well-drawn grass, but it looks like grass and that's a good start. One thing I did learn, though, from, or one thing I do differently now than when I first started doing this when I was younger and I first drew gas, 
like legit grass. I am now using like this very gentle light to dark so it has a bit of depth and more vibrancy to the piece. I am also starting to warm up a bit more to using color adjustments so like hue, saturation, and the blend modes to tight the piece together in a lot more and not make it look like overly bright separate pieces that I just pasted together. So that's a technique I've been trying to incorporate more and practice a lot more on since it really does a lot when in terms of when it comes to making the piece look cohesive. I spent a lot of time the back end, on the back end. Um, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much for this drawing, half of the coloring session is gonna be on the back end, especially since I haven't really done a park or grassy or foresty type of thing in maybe a year or more now. So, it required a bit of time to get together. <laughs> I like the tree though. I like how it turned out. It looks very tree-ish. <laughs> what to say? Oh gosh. So yeah, I'm playing with the blend modes here a bit just to see what works the best and I'm also using the blend modes to add like more shadows and stuff since I didn't really want to mess it up anymore, so I just put it on a new layer and blend moded it. I think I'm slowly getting a lot more comfortable with my new, or this new and improved or upgraded version of my coloring style and art style in general. I think I mentioned a couple of videos back that I didn't really draw digitally for quite some time, and I was still having a hard time making it look like, making it look consistent in the sense that each piece in this particular time period more or less looks the same. That was because I've been trying out new techniques and all that. But I think I'm starting to get the hang of it since this entire piece took, according to the few footage, a total of 3 hours and 30 minutes. For a long time, I wasn't really able to achieve that. Even though this is a not really well planned out piece, nor is it very detailed, but to get to this level of shadows and highlights that I'm doing now, a few months ago, this would have taken me like 6 hours. And it needs a lot more work, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it, and I'm really liking where it's going. So yeah, I'm slowly moving on through my art journey, and I've been trying out a lot more materials, traditionally especially, and I think that's really helping me with just, you know, improving and going through stuff. So yeah. I guess just don't be afraid to try new things out and if you are, just slowly go through it. There's no rush and there's no need to rush. Um, yeah, you have a life ahead of you. Huh, what's this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm just, cause like my art development phase has these phases. Like there will be a long time where I'm just stuck in this particular style and in this particular level and then I would notice something and I'd try to apply that thing and then slowly my art gets better again so I'm not like the other people that in a year they, they turn from noob to godly. I'm this person that's like super slow taking my time 
la 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 la. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's not very interesting in terms of like what I'm talking about, and it's a pretty plain and normal piece. Though I do really like how it turned out. I'm kind of happy with it, and yeah. Please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or Deviantart. I post my stuff there. Follow or like or subscribe to this channel if you feel like watching more art stuff. I'll see you around.